To create your custom wind spinner design using one of my photo frames, go to canva.com and create a new design the size that you need for your project. Um, in this case, I'm going to do an 8 inch wind spinner design. And once your page loads up, um, on the left hand column, click on Elements and scroll down to Grid. You're going to want to click the square grid design and that'll automatically add it to your workspace. Once you've added your square grid, you can click on Uploads and upload the frame design. I've already done this, so it's already in my library and I can just click and drag it into the grid. Now let's add the photo. Go back to the elements and add a circle frame. You can click and resize and move the frame how you need to to get it to fit right. Um, it'll probably pop up in the center, so you just might need to adjust it a little bit. And then go back to your uploads and upload or add from your library the picture that you want to add to this frame. Click and drag your photo into the center circle frame and then double click on the frame and you can resize your photo as needed. Right click on your photo and go to layer to send the image to the back. When you're all done customizing your design, go up to the upper right hand corner and click on share, then go to download. From there, you can select the format you'd like to save it in, usually like a PDF to print, PNG or JPEG, and then click download one more time. This will save it to your device so that you can print it out and use it for your sublimation project. One other quick tip, if you'd like to resize it so that your photo in the center is larger, just hit Control A to select everything, resize your project, recenter your project using the pink smart guides, and then save. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to help.